-hmm. All right, guys, don't forget to go online and check us out, therevolutiontv.com. There you're going to find our 24-7 video channel with all your favorite bands. And uh, reach out to us. If you have any questions, if you need anything, remember, you're not alone. So Crystal Myers is a rock artist who is blowing it up in Japan. But the cool thing is, even though she's an international pop star, this is God's humor, that is just a front. It's just the platform because the real hook is how she is helping and hurting culture that doesn't even speak English. Here's Crystal Myers. I get letters all the time and, um, and it's been incredible. There's actually... There's one girl who had written and she had been in a mental hospital for a while because she was clinically depressed and that's actually a very big thing over there. Like there are lots of people who, who lot, lots of girls who end up going into mental hospitals and going through major counseling just because of the oppression that's over, I mean honestly, that side of the world in Asia. and. And, um, and she wrote to me and she was like, you know, I got your CD and ever since then I've been listening to it every night because, you know, I used to cry myself to sleep, but it gives me this peace and, and I don't know what it is, but please write back and let me know. Like, I don't understand everything in your music, but there's a peace that washes over me. I'm like, that's the Holy Spirit. Like, that is just the raddest thing. And she emailed me about two months ago and she was like, hey, I just wanted you to know, I've been going to church and, um, and I have, uh, I'm about to go get baptized next week and I just wanted to let you know because you're the person who kind of uh, introduced me to Christ and so I just wanted you to know that and I was like man that is so awesome because yeah. you know God's just completely like he he can go over that language barrier and so I did oh man I just have such a heart for those people so anti-conformity yes. kind of your buzzword your signature yes so how has that that song changed your life Man, I think that, you know, I started writing that, like I wrote the first version of it when I was like 13 and, and, um, and that's kind of what got me started, like that's what got labels interested in everything. And, but I think I really, once I got into high school, I really realized what it meant to set yourself apart from, you know, everybody else. And, and I, I was friends with people who were, you know, who were out there who were party animals and who were doing stuff that they weren't supposed to be doing. But, you know, I still stood true, like when they asked me to do stuff, it's like, I was firm and like, you know, nah, like, you know, that's all good. Like, but I wasn't condemning them. Like I was wanting to live my life, you know, the way that Christ would have me live and hopefully be an influence and it actually was. And so it was cool because so many people think like, man, like I, I can't say no because people are going to make fun of me and like all that kind of stuff. It's like, no, if, you, if you're solid and, and you, you know, you can be loving and yet, you know, still stand firm, like you get respect through that. And so I think that kind of then shaped, I, when the label came to me and I got signed, and they're like, well, you know, we love this anti-conformity thing. I was kind of like, let me go back and rewrite this. Like, I, I've actually now experienced this, so let's like write something else. And, and so it's really, it's been cool. And um, so yeah, it's been, it's been a life-changing thing that it started it all. And so it's really cool. Hey, I'm Crystal Myers, and you're watching The Revolution. I had the music and the melody I don't know. I think that sexuality is a major, major issue. And you know, for us like teenagers and stuff, I think that it's interesting because it's not as like, it's so glamorized. Like you can't turn on the TV without seeing a commercial or like clothing ads or, you know, magazines are all like telling you how to, you know, enhance your look for prom so that you will get like great dates and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's just like, it's ridiculous. And, and so, I mean, it's confusing because again, you, they're, girls want to feel good about themselves. And, and of course, when you start getting older and like, you know, girls and guys, of course, and it's just and being in high school, like everybody has boyfriends or, you know, girls just want to see how many, you know, I don't know, they want a guy to love them, but then they think that that love comes from, you know, a physical standpoint and they feel that if they don't like, fulfill their needs physically that you know they're gonna leave them and so it's a tainted love and it's just it's a completely tainted perception and with guys I was talking with my guitarist and I'm like please correct me if I'm wrong but it seems like a lot of times like to guys it's just like how many like girls can I you know get to yeah. get to sleep with it's like I don't know it's like they all have a party when it's like I've reached five girls like man you're a pimp like that's awesome it's like it's completely tainted and it's so much more than like I think when my parents were 
you know, I think from Adam and Eve, I mean, it's been an issue, but it's just so much more glamorized now. So I wanted to write something that just encouraged and kind of brought it out. Like, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I didn't want to sugarcoat it at all. Sure. It's just like, I'm going to put thank this. Thank you for not. Well, thank you. I was terrified. I was terrified to play it to, for the label because I'm like, they're going to say that this is too much and this is too, like, no one in the Christian industry is going to want to, like, listen to this because it's too honest. It's and reality. It's reality. And I'm so <laughs> glad because that was, like, the one song they're like, don't touch a thing. Like, let's go record it now. And so I'm like, well, that's good. And it's it's helped a lot of people. And so that makes me that makes me happy. And I know that I've done my job. So it's mm-hmm. like, okay, good. But, yeah, so I just want to write a real honest song and and that's something that in this industry isn't isn't brought out (laughs) crystal myers made it through her high school years unscathed as an anti-conformist so if a gorgeous international pop star can walk out righteousness what is stopping you (laughs) that's right you know i mean cat has a very similar story to crystal myers you know she kept herself pure all the way through high school college She didn't even kiss a guy until we met and got engaged right before we got married. Uh, But you might not be relating to that story. You might say, you know what, I've made mistakes. I've fallen down. I I was the same way in high school. It's okay. God has forgiveness. He has grace. And uh, he did it through his son, Jesus Christ. I mean, I was a mess in high school. And then I found God and he changed my life. Now, that doesn't mean we don't make mistakes. We do. We fall down. But he helps us get back up. And you know what? We find ourselves falling down less and less and less and having more peace and more joy and knowing our purpose and our destiny. And if today you want to know your purpose and your destiny, you need to have a relationship with God. And it starts by accepting His Son, Jesus Christ, into your heart. If you want more info, check us out online, therevolutiontv.com. Reach out to us. We'll be there for you. Help you find a good church home. Remember, you're not alone. Never alone. Thanks so much for watching The Revolution TV. We will see you guys next time. And hey, if God be for you, who can stop you?